Good morning, friends. My name is April Holly Smith, and it is time to shop. Hey, everybody. Again, my name is April Holly Smith, and you have made it to the channel where we grocery shop. We do all things grocery. Well, all things Aldi and save a lot anyway. What we do here is we do real life grocery shopping with the actual ads that are out that week and the actual sales that are happening inside the store. I'm actually outside my save a lot right now and I'm about to go in and start my shopping. So if you are interested in saving money for your family grocery shopping, figuring out how that's done and how like some people on the internet are like buying, you know, 15 people's worth of grocery for a month for $5. I've seen those videos. Um, I'm not that person, but I do have a budget of a hundred dollars a week for four people. And I show you how I actually manage to do that and keep things in the freezer so that it's not like always running out of food. So let's get started right now. All right, here's our save a lot milk and eggs. This milk is high as far as I'm concerned, high. Um, higher than last week, I think. Their almond milk is $2.99, and then their eggs are $1.55. Their eggs are high here anyway. Um, higher than Alden's anyway, usually. Alright guys, I made it out of Save A Lot Alive! I know I make that joke like every week, don't I? Isn't that terrible? It's like mom jokes. It's That's what I got going on here. And I love them. And I don't care. I'm corny and I like it. Uh, I spent $21.80. So for math, easy math pur purposes, we're going to call it 22 So I'm just going to tell you right now, if you have not watched before, I'm not a math whiz. I struggle to get the math right and to do it. So... <laughs> So I have, I spent $22, which means I have $78. Did that in my head, kids. Aren't we impressed? Uh, to uh, spend at Aldi's. We're going to go over there. That's where the bulk of my list is. And that's where the bulk of the things I'm going to buy um, usually is. However, there is a reason that I come to save a lot first. And the reason is that when save a lot has marked down meats, I need to have as much liquid budget available to put towards markdown meats um, or other markdowns that I find because it used to be they had some a lot of markdown produce like I didn't buy any bags of salad or anything uh, the bags of like coleslaw which keeps forever cabbage keeps forever they would be marked down and I would get those but and sometimes they have marked on bakery items too which the kids and, and, and Chris eat but not so much me, but you know, like they tend to have markdowns, whereas Aldi's never, never has a markdown at my store. Um, every, every once in a great, great while, they'll have some meat markdowns, but I can tell you since the COVID happened, that hasn't happened. It's been all on shortage. So, um, I, I always come here first because again, that way the liquid part of my, um, or the, the, I, I want to say ancillary, but ancillary is not the right word. That means extra. Um, the, the, part where I'm able to choose what I buy like the what's it called when you have money to spend that is just at whatever you want it's not whim whim is a good word but it's like there's a term for it like um discretionary money my discretionary money in the grocery budget I always leave a few dollars for something I stumble upon or that I've forgotten you know you never know when you're gonna need it so uh, my discretionary money I need to always have available when I go there in case there's good deals last week you go back and look at my haul I've got a ton of meat markdowns pretty darn good um, I mean but there have been times in the past when I've literally gone in and spent a hundred dollars on meat markdowns and sable in this this very store so um, that's happened one time one time there was a sale at Giant Eagle on pork loins and they have a real butcher there so they actually will cut it and all that stuff i i went in i had them sliced into pork chops i had them cubed into like um and just cubes you know pork cubes and when i was checking out i had so many i think i bought a hundred dollars worth of them and the lady's like are you buying for the vfw <laughs> she's like are you having one of them big public meal nights and i'm like no 
<laughs> it's just me. They were like 69 cents or 79 cents a pound or something. It was so cheap. And I loaded up and for months we had meat that was really cheap. Anyway, I'm gonna get the old lady glasses on and head to all these. All right guys, I lied apparently. After I just said I never see, there is markdowns for these. Knock your sprouts off. They're two ninety-five. so these are a dollar ninety-five. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna give you guys a clue here. So I'm at the buns, and normally these are 85 cents, but they are on, on sale in the ad. They're red, but look, this is like a permanent type, and so are the hot dogs. So we expect to see these at this price for the long term. There's a clue right here in our Aldi store. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Eggs have not changed. Still limit two, still the same price as last week. Now, this is what I'm gonna talk about here. This milk, all their milk is $1.95 compared to that $3.05 I save a lot, like that's a big difference. That's why I said their milk is high. Just as sure as I said there were no markdowns. We have meat markdowns. I don't I'm not excited about them, but look at this guys. Dollar off stickers on actual meat. Like two weeks ago, this entire section was shut down. There's a whole bunch. Holy moly. Whoa. Let's see if it's a good deal. So this is 99 cents. That's high for chicken drumsticks. I suppose it's not terrible in this time of shortage. So, guys, I found more. What? What? These are lean turkey, two dollars off, four dollar package. These are half price. Holy moly! All right, guys. For real, I gotta put this down and go do some grabbing. Half price, four dollars, two dollars off, three ninety nine. Um, I'm there. Uh, I'll see you in a minute. All right, I made it out of all these, and okay, I'm gonna say this. I should tell you every week that there's no markdowns at all these because, as you saw, there were stinking markdowns. Well, I loaded up. If you want to see, hang on, because we're going home to check the uh, to look at the haul right now. I spent $89.26, so I had $88 to spend, so I'm over budget, but not as much as, because it was like $21.08, so if you subtract 8, so that's 5, that's 20, and 3, that's 17, so I am like... Uh, no, I have to add it. Oh, crap. Anyway, I'm like not that much over. I'm like a dollar. Okay, no, I do it at okay. So 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, So I am like 35 cents over. That's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. So I'm only like, that's great. Okay, I'm not going to complain about that. That's what we call in this business failing up. Well, technically I did fail. Um, it's so good to fail. It's a win. All right, let's go home right now. All right, guys, this is my haul. I know that you see table, but that's deceptive because there's tons of stuff under there. So let's start here. I got two um, bags of these frozen steak fries because they've been a hit lately and I am using a lot of quick fire food in the afternoons for second shift. So I got two steak fries and I got two, oh, and I got four steak fries. I got four steak fries. I need to get two steak fries and two um, tater tots. Okay, well, that's cool. Surprise. We'll live with that. Um, I did get one of those sprouted breads. I'm going to try it and see if it bothers me or not. And uh, we'll see how that goes. That was $2. I got two of the crunch bars here. One in strawberries and one in chocolate. These are $1.98 each. You love those? Yeah. They're the best? Yeah. Okay. I got a head of lettuce, which was $1.39. Outrageously expensive. Um, 75 cents for the hamburger buns. $1.50, which is regular price for the carrots. But I've used all my carrots when I made stock the last time. So this is for the refrigerator. They actually keep 
forever. This was $2.20 each, so I spent $4.40 on the aluminum foil. Bunch of stuff for Chris. Swiss rolls. These were $1.35. And peanut butter wafers. These were $1.39. I don't know why these are a different price, but they're lunch things. We gotta have them. I got two bags of the okra. These were $1.59 each at Save a Lot. We got cereal because we're doing the school lunches still, and they keep sending home milk. So I have to provide an another way or a way that the kids can eat this so I've got some cereal here this was a dollar 85 and these shredded wheats because I thought this sounded tasty I'm kind of I'm hungry I was hungry okay I'm probably not even gonna eat those but we joke when we see the big round hail ba hay bales I'm like look shredded wheat in its natural habitat a farmer's growing it it's funny it's hay but you know it's funny um and I think this was a dollar 49 Okay, so um, I did also get another quick fryer thing. These were $4.95. I got two of these crispy chicken tender frozen things, which will probably be about two meals. So it's a very pricey thing for us, but um, I want some convenience. I got a thing of peaches for $2.99, and the reason for that is um, when I went to Aldi's to get cherries, which were on sale for $1.59, they didn't have any. They didn't even have a spot for it. So... I was like, well, I won't spend $10 on cherries. I'll spend $3 on peaches. So that's what I got. Um, I got vanilla almond milk. This was $1.79. This is the 80 calorie kind of vanilla because that's what everyone likes. I got two of these little bad boys. There's a limit of four on these, but I only needed two. The tomato paste, these were 39 cents, so I spent 80 cents on the both of those. Also got two mixed vegetables. These are only 12 ounces. That's all they have now, which is sad. It save a lot, but these were $1.09 each, so $1.10, $1.10. I got one of these. This was full price. It was six, $6, $5.99, you know, um, but they were real good from the markdowns, so I got another one, and we're going to go with that. Uh, I got one, two, three things of chips, $1.19 each, regular price, and then I'm feeling like maybe we're going to have some tacos. Hey, taco friend. Um, with some nacho-y type stuff. So I got some white rounds. They were 89 cents each, and we may or may not consume all of them this week. So, boom. Uh, I got these cherries. These were at Save A Lot. It's the last one that they had, too. Um, it was 2.52 pounds, and they were $1.99, so it's $5 and a penny for this. So, those are mine. Also, at Save A Lot, we can look down the tube here. Um, I got five avocados. They're pretty darn ripe. So this was $3.50. Got one of these to hold in um, on deck. I'm going to leave this out until it's time to actually use it. The 99 cent Worcestershire sauce because apparently we like that. And then I did get a second one of these. One was the, I got the butter chicken and one was the tikka masala. This one has heavy cream in it. And as I've done some research through Girl Scouts making butter, there's no protein in heavy cream and I have a problem with the protein with the casein and the whey so we're gonna try this and see if the lactose still bothers me but that's a that's like a different thing so um it's lesser okay two loaves of bread 85 cents each and then I did get 10 pounds of strawberries again two four six eight ten so that is my haul where I was like 35 cents over are you guys excited about that because I am, <laughs> I feel, oh, I know, you almost, you, you, I know, I, I almost forgot too, guys. Okay, so here we are. Look, look at it all. Look at all the ground turkey. Okay, so some of these were $2 off and some of them were $1 off. But I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pounds of ground turkey. There's a dollar off one. And they were half price, almost all of them. So... And then if you look here, it says freeze or use by the 28th. And today is the 26th. So I've got a day or two to get it in the fridge and decide what I'm doing. But I expect most of those will go in the freezer. So that is my haul, guys. I think I did pretty amazing this time. So I want you to tell me down below in the comments what you think the best thing that I found was. And then you also tell me what the best thing you found this week out and about. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Say bye.
Bye. That's <laughs> receipt from Ye Old Save a Lot. If you want to do a real deep dive on it, here we go. This is the stuff. Use your pause button, and then you can review each and every item, each and every price, everything. Have a look. Spent $21.80, so we're going to call that 22 Here's our Aldi's. It's a long one, so... I'll try and move it up kind of slow, but again, if you want to have a deep dive on this, please use your pause button. Oh, I got a ton of that turkey, dude. A 